What's up guys, Weldon Mythbusters number three. You've been waiting for it, here it is. Who really does have the best TIG torch head? We're about to find out. What's up, everybody? I'm the Scotsman with Alabama Pipe Builders Academy. What I have here is a 50 cal tungsten holder, pre-loaded with the Scotsman pre-sharpened tungsten. First 10 people to comment below, get one for free. All right, so we took all the torch heads apart. Here they are. You got the Made in China, the heavy hitters. You have the Profax, the CK, Weld Tech and the Weld Craft. So before we started doing anything, we engraved them. So once we got all the rubber off, we would know we could keep up with whose was whose. All right, so one of the first things I noticed was they're not, none, none of them are 100% copper. They either have a brass head or a brass connection down here and a brass head, or they have some little brass fittings in them the one closest to being 100% copper was the Weld Tech. Now, one thing about being 100% copper, and you wouldn't know this unless you've been welding a lot with two rigs, is that the heads, sometimes the gas lens, these little threads inside here, they gall up if it's hot. So, I prefer, I think they did a lot of uh, research on this, the people that have the brass heads to keep the threads from galling up. So. The gas lens is made out of copper. It has copper threads. So the copper threads are gonna give away before the brass threads do. So you're gonna get a longer lasting torch head out of any of the ones that have brass, in my opinion. Um, or you can just not cross stud it or allow them to gall up. But sometimes it's just inevitable. So this is kind of the order that we rated them in. First, Weldcraft. Second, Weld Tech. Third, CK. Fourth, Profax, fifth, heavy hitters, and last is the made in China. Now, some other things I'd like to point out. The Wellcraft, the Well Tech, the CK, all have single strand necks for the flex. See, that's a single strand, single strand, single strand. The Profax, the heavy hitters, and the made in China have two uh, like a double helix coiled up strand. From my experience, after you're welding a lot, one of these strands will break. And you'll feel your head as you, when you want to flex it, it'll make like a clicking sound or you'll be able to feel a little clicking in there and then the neck up here will get super hot. A lot of times it will melt the plastic or the rubber, whichever it is and then you know you'll have a, a, a torch head failure the single ones they're a little bit more beefy and you know you're not going to have one side of it give a give out or have a failure some of these the double helix ones they're obviously thinner and you know we just see that a lot is hey it's still welding but something doesn't seem right well one of the strands in there is broken all right now for some data what we did 
is we weighed each one of them totally stripped down. Now the, the one that weighed the least was the made in China. It was 3.8 ounces. The one that weighed the most was almost seven ounces, 6.8, and that was the Weld Craft. One other thing that we did, we went next door, I got a buddy, he's got a PMI gun. He checked the quality of the copper on each one. So, on average, the made in China is 88%. The Profax, 90.56% copper. Weld Tech, 90.01%. Weld Craft, 93.52%. CK, 90.80. And Heavy Hitters was 87.96. To me, it feels like the weight, the durability, and you know the thought that's gone into each TIG rig. As you can see right here on the Weld Craft, they even have like a little wire on the inside and it runs from these two nuts. It's a little bitty, like a static wire that runs through the center. They do that for a reason. And you know, some thought was put into this. So it tells me that they did their research, did their homework and you know, my money's on the weld craft. We also measured we use dial calipers to measure the wire size. So this has quarter inch wire that's coiled up for the spring in the head. The weld tech was 0.8, 0 0.180. The Profax, 0.125. China, 0.123. Heavy hitters, 0.141. And the CK was point one five oh and in a lot of these I don't know if you knew it or not but it comes with some instructions and it tells you you know don't flex it right here at the head neck you want to spread out the flex over the length of the neck you don't want to just take the head and pull it back because you'll break the internal tubes so there's some directions some of them recommend 40 degrees some of them you know different different things for different ones and you know, there's no internal tube here for the argon to run up. It's just, it runs through the coil and through the, the lining into the head and out the gas diffuser and uh, you know, onto the weld. So a lot of them are like that. A lot of them have like the heavy hitters when you pull back the plastic, then it has another wrapping of this like plastic tape to seal off that internal, it's an internal tube for argon to run. Um, the ch made in China one, you can see all the black plastic. It didn't have that. You just, it was uh, black plastic all the way down. But they do have a brass head, so that's probably gonna make it last a little longer with going in and out with uh, uh, gas lenses. The Profax, same thing. It had the, it has the rubber here and then some tape, keeping it sealed off even more. And same thing with the, the CK. Same thing with the Weld Tech. They all had tape. Hey, come here. Let me show you about this Black Mamba. All right. This thing's got a sheath on it. It's light as a feather. It's a two-piece TIG rig. It's got the heavy-duty torch head. Three-year warranty, no matter what happens to it. If it's your fault, if it's whoever's fault, send it back. They're going to replace it three-year warranty that's like forever in welder you can't even keep, you can't even keep a welder for three years I mean the uh, the average lifespan for a welder is like six months on a job we like to do a little inspirational story at the end of each video and this one's entitled vision it's about two fishermen fishing on a lake in separate boats one man had absolutely no luck and wasn't catching anything all morning and what made it more difficult is that the other fisherman in the boat about 50 yards away was tearing them up. I mean, he was catching them left and right. As he watched this other fisherman enviously, he noticed something quite bizarre. Every time he caught a large fish, he released it back into the water. And every time he caught one around 12 inches or smaller, he threw it in the cooler. Finally, the frustrated and confused fisherman couldn't stand it any longer. 
He yelled across the lake, Hey, why do you keep throwing the big ones back and keeping the small ones? And the other fisherman simply looked at him and held up his 12-inch frying pan. Lack of vision or faith can keep us from being or doing what is really best for our lives. So be encouraged. Hope to see you next time.